Hello everyone, uh, my name is Nikhil Gajam, working as assistant professor in department of computer science and engineering. In today's session, we will see Python function. A learning outcome of this video is students uh, will be able to declare and define a function in Python, Python script. Uh, syntax for writing a function in Python. So, def space a function name and then in bracket argument list. Now, argument list is nothing but uh, the variables or the values which are passed to the function while calling the function. We call it as argument. That may be a single value or multiple values. Uh, and this argument list, it is not compulsion, it is optional. You either you can uh, pass the arguments while calling the function or you cannot pass the values. Uh, DEF, it is a keyword, stands for definition used for defining a function. So, DEF space a function name, a function name can be anything and then argument list. So, this is declaration of a function then body of the function. Remember that in Python there are uh, no brackets available. So, at the end of this function after argument list a colon is there, it is must indicating that it is the start of new block. So, all the statements after this function having a same indentation belong, belongs to this function. Next one, uh, we will see an example. Uh, suppose example is add a two function using, add a two variables or two values using the function in, uh, in, in Python. Uh, so, we will see an example, we'll write a code for adding a two numbers using function. So, this is a PyCharm, uh, this is IDE for Python. Uh, okay, suppose I will I will declare one function called as add, which is not accepting any parameters. So, I will take a two number, suppose this is num1 equal to in, in bracket input, then I will enter a message as enter number 1. And then this is num2 equal to again int again this input then enter number 2. Now this number 1 I am taking a value from the user and similarly number 2 I am taking a value from the user. So, this message is displayed on the output, sc output screen first called as enter number 1 then input is a function for taking input from the user by default return type is string. So, I have typecasted that into the integer values. So, these are the two integer value we have taken from the user. So, I will add these two values and store in the result variable. So, result equal to num1 num plus this num2. I will print the result print. This is result equal to comma result. And after this, uh, apart from this function, I will I will call that function from outside the function. So how to call this? Just just call the function name. I am not passing any arguments because this function is not accepting any values. I will execute this. I will right click here and click on run file. So it is asking number one. Suppose number one is ten, and then number two. So number two is twenty. So result equal to thirty. Now, uh, it is a function which is which is not accepting any value. So, how to call this function? Just function name. Uh, we will uh, move forward now. Uh, now, similarly, we can pass arguments to the function while calling the function also. So, same example I will take adding of adding addition of two numbers, but with parameters passing. Okay. Uh, remove this. Just a second. So, this is df add. So, it, it accepts one integer value and another integer value. Sorry. A and B. This is colon. Uh, so, result equal to A plus B and then print. Result, comma result. So, this is my function. So, 
so we'll take two values from the user num1 equal to okay just indentation problem is there just a second okay this is num1 equal to uh, integer then input then this is enter number one similarly num2 equal to integer then again input enter number two then i am calling the function Our function name is add for that add function now i am calling two i am, I am sending two values num1 and num2 so your execution starts from this statement so first uh, a message will be printed on the output screen called as an enter number one that will be converted into integer value stored in the num1 similarly a number two enter number two message will be displayed that will be converted into integer value stored in the num2 then i am calling a function add and i am passing two values whatever entered by the user so this function is getting called so num1 and num2 these values are passed as an as an argument and that will be stored in a and b then result will be calculated a plus b then result is printed so i will execute this this is num1 enter num1 suppose 10 enter num2 suppose 20 so result equal to 30 so this is an example for passing arguments to the function so i have passed two arguments uh, num1 and num2 uh, to the add function okay okay we'll go forward now okay you can pause the video and you can answer is it possible to have a function overloading in python you can pause the video and you can answer okay answer is yes as we know function overloading uh, it is a concept of object oriented programming where two two or more functions are having same function name but uh, different arguments that different arguments may be in terms of numbers or in terms of data types so we'll try this uh, uh, function overloading suppose i will write another function def add which is not accepting any values and suppose inside this uh, suppose i am i am sending print print and this is i am writing example of suppose this is function overloading now uh, so these are the two functions which are having same name but these functions are accepting different types of arguments this first function is accepting two values and second function is accepting no, no values or zero values so this 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 concept we call it as a function overloading so how to call first function so this is the first function call where you are passing two values two integer values how to call the second function just add so this first add function call a first function is getting called and for the second uh, only add which is not accepting any parameters any argument the second function is getting called you check this uh, suppose enter number one five uh, number two is ten okay just a second um, it takes two arguments to given mm. okay just a second i will remove this and we'll add okay execute this and number one five and number two is ten Okay, what will be the error? Just a second. Def add. Okay, just a second. I will remove this. It is it is prov it is uh, it is called as uh, confusion or uh, ambiguous function call uh, where two functions it is not decided during runtime that which function is getting called. So this is called as an ambiguous situation. Compiler is giving error that which function is getting called that it is not deciding. Okay. Uh, we, we generally with this term we call it as method overloading where two functions are having same name but different arguments or different types of arguments uh, we will we'll move forward 
Now there is another concept in function uh, functions in Python we called as default parameters. A non-default and default parameters may be mixed in the parameter list of the function declaration, but all the default parameters within parameter must appear at the end. Now what is different uh, default arguments? When you are passing arguments to the function and that value is uh, fixed during that uh, uh, while declaration of the function only. We call it as default argument. But there is one rule while uh, defining the defa default arguments. Uh, the whatever default values are there, if you are mixing the default parameters with non-default parameters, in that case default parameter must be at the right hand side. Okay, example is this one. So def sum range, sum range is my function name. It is accepting two arguments, n and m. But m equal to 100, this is called as default arguments. So by default value of m will be 100. Okay, but uh, whatever default arguments you are passing to the function that must be at the right hand side, compulsory. Okay, similarly in the second example, def sum range, n equal to 0 and m equal to 100. Uh, in this case, there are two default arguments. If all the arguments are default, then it is okay, no problem. Okay, but default arguments values must be start from right hand side. But in the third example, d of sum range in bracket n equal to 0 and m only, it is not allowed. Because there is only one default argument and that is n, it must be appear on the right hand side. On the left hand side, it is not, not allowed. Okay, so this is a rule of default parameter or default argument. We will see an example. Same example I will take, take uh, instead of uh, writing now df add a and b equal to 100. So by default value of b is 100. So I am, I am calling that function now. If you pass now only suppose 50 and execute this, a result is 150. When you pass only argument 50 that will be stored in A and by default value of B will be 100. So 50 plus 100 it will be 150. You can pass two, two values also 50 and 200. If you check this output will be 250. So 50 will be stored in A and 200 will be stored in B. Okay, So output will be 250. So this is default argument. These are the references I have used for creation of this video. Thank you.